Hello and uh, welcome to the office where most of the videos are going to be from for the next few weeks until we're allowed out again. Well uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, last week's video which was a little bit of a disaster in many ways. Um, I got something out of it but uh, it didn't go well. Um, yeah, What can go wrong when you vlogging everything that could possibly go wrong pretty much did especially on audio now for a start i recorded loads of pieces to camera and didn't have uh, my microphone switched on so all of that um didn't come out it was just uh, completely blank and uh, after that then uh, the next few bits I recorded camera, I looked really fed up because I was really fed up uh, having to redo lots of uh, little bits and as a result of that I cut some of them short. Uh, I didn't say quite as much as I did on the first <laughs> round of takes. Next up uh, what started to go wrong, um, I was using some new gear. Uh, had a different camera for recording video to what I have been using. Uh, I'd bought it specifically for doing the video on vlogs and hadn't tried it enough and as a result it meant that uh, some of the handheld stuff was too shaky. Um, in future everything will be done on a tripod with that camera because it really didn't work well and uh, also, I uh, found that uh, the battery life on it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. And the battery indicator went from showing as being full to being empty very, very quickly. You know, it's one of these where it shows as full for quite a while and then all of a sudden just drops to zero. So anyway, because... Uh, I thought I had more battery life than I had. I hadn't got my spare battery with me. Uh, that was being charged. Okay, so when I messed up with the battery, uh, I also didn't have the spare battery with me. So that meant uh, reverting to uh, using my Z6 to film with. A fantastic camera for doing filming. In fact, that's what I'm using right now. But when I set it up, I set it up wrong. Instead of plugging the wire into the mic jack, I plugged it into the headphone jack because I was rushing around to try and get it done. Uh, light was uh, starting to go a little. I really wanted to get up to Swan Home Lakes before it went. And... Uh, Yes, yeah, so everything recorded with the Z6 until I noticed the error right at the end was recorded using the internal microphone. So that wasn't ideal. Uh, it meant it was affected really badly by wind. And when I got as far as Swan Home, which is far more open, then none of that uh, footage was usable. But uh, when I got back to Hart's home on the way back, noticed it was wrong, just in time to uh, do the outro. So that bit was uh, recorded properly. About the only bit that was recorded properly in the entire thing. What I will say, all these mistakes were my mistakes. None of them were equipment failures. So there's... Uh, if ever you're wondering what can possibly go wrong vlogging, then there's a whole list. On top of that, um, because I'd missed the week's previous video, then I felt under a lot of pressure to get a video out. So it meant that normally I might have decided, you know, this isn't where I want it to be. I might skip a week. I uh, didn't, I put it out anyway. It, uh, it did mean that uh, 
there was a whole bit that I'd said at Swanholm about uh, gear acquisition syndrome, which is the whole point of that video that uh, didn't get put in. But just as a quick thing, uh, going back to gear acquisition, and gear is important but it is probably the least important of the important things for taking pictures. It can help you with opening up new situations where you can take photos. So for example, my um, entry level Nikon, I don't trust it in rain, uh, whereas the Z6, yeah, I'll trust that a lot more in weather. So that means I can take photos in more situations with the Z6. The Z6 also has far better light performance. Uh, in low light, the Z6 is a lot better. Um, if I need to push the ISO up, the Z6 just performs so much better with noise. But, if you're within the limitations, it's difficult to see a difference between the pictures taken. So going back to the gallery at the end of the last video, some of those pictures are taken with the Z6, which is a 1,700 pound camera, body only. Uh, some of them were taken with the uh, D3500, which is a about £300 camera, body only. And there is one picture in there that was taken with my phone. So uh, if you want, go back, have a look through the gallery of that video and uh, see if you can work out which are which. Now, I did say during the last video that uh, during this lockdown, I am trying to try something new. I tend to use editing a lot to help my photos. So what I'm trying to do is during lockdown, when I go out for walks, is to try and capture the images that I want in JPEG rather than in RAW and just using the settings that are available to me in the camera. And there are quite a lot. So let's have a look at some of the ones I've had during my last walk. As you can see, some really nice misty conditions when I was out on the walk. And uh, misty conditions are always great for landscape photography. Well, they're great for finding other shots. It can really help add to depth to the images, uh, particularly in the last one with the uh, row of trees uh, through the gap. The mist really helps show that those trees are further away as they're faded out into the fog. Right, that's all that there is from me for this week. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. And uh, if you've liked a few of my videos, then please consider subscribing. All right, I will uh, see you next week from the office again. And... Uh, it's all going to be about uh, colour in monochrome.